Matthew Sucky here from Verity Baptist Manila, and I wanted to make a quick video to discuss with you the Padre Pio relic that has appeared in the Philippines recently. Catholicism is obviously very well known for its idolatry and its worship of you know, people they declare as saints and things like that, and worshiping relics and things like this. And so this is nothing new, but this is just kind of in the news right now, where the Padre Pio relic has just appeared there, and people are all excited, and they're worshiping it. And you say, well, who is this guy? Well, this is a guy who claimed 100 years ago that he had stigmata. Stigmata is when you claim to feel the pain in your hands and your feet, like Jesus felt when he was on the cross. And that's a, 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 a pretty ridiculous statement to make that you had the same pain that Jesus Christ had. There's a lot of evidence that this man faked this and he uh, used man-made methods to make it look like he had stigmata because when people say they have stigmata they got to actually show the marks like Jesus had and he claimed to feel the exact same pain but there's a lot of evidence he faked it. But whether or not he faked it or whether or not it was something extremely demonic, look that is he's not a man to be worshipped. For one, the Bible says that salvation is by believing on Jesus Christ. It says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. But Catholicism does not teach that. They teach you got to follow the sacraments and that you got to be really devoted. You know, they worship Mary. They have so many things that are just ungodly, so many things that aren't true. And so this guy is in hell today. He was not someone that we should worship. But what would God think about this relic? Would God want us worshiping relics of a great guy? Let's say there was a relic of Moses. Is that something God would want us to worship? Well, let's see what the Bible says in 2 Kings 18, verse 4. It says, He removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groves and break in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it, and he called it Nehushtan. And so here's an example of someone who does right in the sight of the Lord, and he's destroying all this idolatry. He removes the high places, breaks the images, cuts down the grove, and he destroys this brazen serpent. This brazen serpent was given as a picture of Jesus Christ, how Jesus would one day die on the cross and pay for our sins. And all of a sudden later on, people are worshiping this brazen serpent when it was meant to be just a symbol of Jesus Christ. How they would look upon that ser the serpent and they would be healed just as if we would just believe on Jesus Christ. We would just look and live as, as we sing in our hymnal. And so all of a sudden though, they're worshiping this. And so here's the thing, even if there was, let's say, a good guy, we shouldn't be worshiping a statue of his or relics or anything like that. It's an ungodly thing. It's not something God approves of. And we know he doesn't approve of it because of the fact he says this person does right in the sight of the Lord and he destroys it. I hope that was a blessing to you. Thank you and God bless.